All right, so many of you have heard, the Global B has been cracked by HP tuners. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, obviously we've been building C8s for the past three years with headaches every day, but we have successfully done it with our world record C8 running eights. But now this will make our jobs so much easier for our basic, uh, I don't want to call it basic, but our more common packages when it comes to just 600 horsepower cars all the way up to 1,000 horsepower cars, getting them to idle and drive right and tune properly. And we already got our first one back, so I want to open up. We have, I think, four ECMs right now sent out. I don't want to do too many at once. We'll just concentrate on one car at a time. And I need a, a damn pen. Um, so we're going to start off with an NA build which we have here, the ECM for it. And then we'll do a, uh, we have a pro charger set up and then we have a twin turbo set up. So hopefully uh, the next few days, guys, we'll be showing y'all some extra results. But yeah, y'all get the gist. I didn't want to open it up and I can show you all the details inside. Some of the stuff I probably can't show y'all <laughs> now that I think about it. So, but good news ahead guys. So for UC8 owners out there, uh, Black Wings um, in the CT5, which we've done a whole bunch of already, um, it's only gonna get better from here. Stay tuned. First attempt. First attempt to pull a file. We already scanned it and we can see that we can see a lot more stuff now in the VCM scanner than we could before in the past. Now comes the big moment. Can we pull the file? And if so, how long is it gonna take? All right, E99 ECM 2020. Read. Ignition must be turned to the off position before reading can begin. Once ignition is turned off, press OK. So, like we flashed previously with the C8, it is the same thing. Ignition is off. So, the Global B is consistent. Uh, we weren't using HP tuners to flash them before, we were using something else to flash them, but the ignition was off. In all other cars that we do, the ignition is always on when you flash it. So, the ignition is off. Read. Gather the DVD info first. Let's see if that works. Let's see. So you actually have to connect. Sorry. So new steps, new steps. We're learning. We're learning. So ignition back on. Let's de we have to detect the ECM, which we now do. We click read. So now you turn the ignition off. And now we press continue. Come on, baby. And there we go. She's reading. So yeah, it's wild. Everything with ignition. Oh, 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 oh. Turn the ignition to the run position. Uh, engine off, okay. You ready, you ready, you ready? Give us another file. So just like the other E99s, like the 19ZR1s, when you read a file, it just gives you the stock file. Same with the 17 up TCMs. So if someone's already previously tuned it, you're like, oh, let me see what their tune looks like. You try to pull it, it just gives you a stock file. You can't see it, which is good for me. I don't like people seeing our stuff. 
on the newer vehicles. The older stuff doesn't matter so much. So, if you lose any changing, so got it. Now let's create a new folder for what year was this one? A 21? Yeah, 21. So I have all my C8 folders, but we're gonna create a new one now that we're using different software. Stingrays because Z06s will be next, my friend. I can feel it. I can feel it. All right, 2021 C8 Stingray. Customer's name. Which I don't have to see on this guy. And ECM. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Boom! Come on, come on. There she is. Now we have a file to adjust. And make changes to. So, instead of the 10 tables we were changing before, now we have hopefully thousands, hundreds, millions. It's never gonna end. But, we got it. Boom! Oh, that's the shit. What you seeing? With oh, C8. HP HP tuner C8. Um, looking at the stock file, everything I like, everything looks good. A few things that are different. Um, when it comes to an E99 ECM from like a 19ZR1, um, but it, there are parts that are similar to like other trucks, um, previous GM models. So um, it'll be a little bit of a learning curve. But at the end of the day, HP Tuners has given us a lot of tables to play with. So it looks really good. It looks very promising. I can tell you right now, the scanner already, I don't know how you're going to edit this video or show this video, but um, the scanner already has a lot more things for me to data log um, than in the past. And uh, yeah, this video, I mean, again, depends on how you edit it, kind of be cool to show the world out there that it's... Uh, the process of doing this from you don't just drop your new Corvette off like the old days and wait while it gets tuned uh, you have to bring your car in we have to put the car on the rack pull the ECM out and depending on what year your ECM is it's they're in different spots in case y'all didn't know um, for the couple that we've done which we have like six now right out there um, some are in the middle of the car some are in other spots but we have to put the car on the rack pull the ECM out we have to ship it to HP Tuners. They charge us the fee to unlock it. They ship it back to us. Um, we have to pull the ECM out of the box. Um, after that, reinstall it into the car, which has to go back on the rack, obviously. Um, after we, God, my phone never stops ringing. Uh, after we uh, reinstall it, have to go through a process of actually pulling the tune file, which isn't that big of a deal. And then after that, uh, you do have to have, which I actually have in front of me, what are the odds? An MPV3 to actually read and uh, then write the new tune file. Um, but once you pull the tune, which I have here, we can see it. Then it also, they charge us, which is HP tuner thing. They charge us so many credits. I'm gonna say four or 500 bucks. I forget how much, I think it's eight, eight or 10 credits to then license the vehicle which means that once we pay, it's just a one-time fee, then we can tune that car as much as possible with that cable. And again, this is only ECM, um, but at the end of the day, yeah, I'm looking at the file now. It looks good. We have several cars that are needing uh, tuned, plus we have plenty in the pipeline as far as uh, future R&D stuff like we haven't done in the past, cam, headers, and stuff like that, guys. I mean, it's been three years since I've been waiting for this day. So it's a big day. And again, I know we've been building these cars. We had the world record. Uh, we went 880 to 160. But to really truly get into the stock,
desktop computer the way that this is, um, is a very big day for me and my business because y'all know me as the GM Corvette guy and I wanna do this for the rest of my life. I'm 40 years old and I did not wanna to have to work on, uh, you know, 2005 to 2019 cars only, uh, which the C8s, again, we do build it, we build a whole bunch of them, but I wanna be able to offer the same amount of packages we offer for the previous platforms for these new platforms, which now we'll be able to do. So if you just want 50 horsepower gains or you want 1500 horsepower or 2000 horsepower, we're gonna be able to give it to you. So hope you enjoyed it. Again, just kinda wanna show you guys at home, if this is how you edit this, um, how the process works. It's not just like uh, come drop your car off, wait in the showroom while we tune it, and then you leave with an extra 20 horsepower. There is a procedure to get to it, but like I said, um, it is a little bit expensive. Um, people might freak out and be like, what is, you know, between three and $5,000 to tune the car? What? Um, ask any 19 ZR1 owner out there um, and they're kind of in the same boat. It's a expensive procedure, but in my opinion, money well spent for you gearhead guys that want more horsepower because it is a must. And uh, like I said, it's only gonna get better from here. We went 880s at 160 over a year ago with um, very limited tables, tricking a whole bunch of stuff. And now that we have this and uh, then the TCM comes ahead, it's gonna be game over. We're gonna be making huge horsepower, but we'll start breaking more parts, but then we fix those parts and upgrade those parts. And I promise you we'll go even faster. So hope you enjoyed this video guys. Kind of like a little, maybe if you show this as like a how-to video. How, how many tables are you actually seeing now? Um, so HP tuners, I would just say there's about a thousand roughly that you can sit go in here and play with where the past few months we've been kind of just uh, nitpicking only a couple tables in the factory ECM so big change when it comes to the factory ECM now again we had aftermarket you know fuel techs and aftermarket piggyback systems on some of the other high horsepower cars to give us more capabilities like this um, but now it should be a lot easier going right through the stock computer with the CAN bus system and everything so everything talks to each other a lot easier so we'll see, we'll go from there. Comment, I don't know. Those of you have any questions, um, comment below on this video. I'd like to hear y'all's thoughts. Uh, any kind of question about HP tuners, C8 stuff, tuning, Global B, anything. Comment below, I'd like to hear what y'all have to say and uh, that way we can answer any questions that y'all have. Thanks. Bye.